Welcome back to One Piece Anime Review, episode number 99. This is where I'm viewing the 887th episode of the anime, plus the 944th chapter of the manga. First, let's start with the 887th episode of the anime, the explosive situation. Two emper emperors going after Luffy. Mm -hmm. This episode covers pretty much what was left of chapter 9... Uh, 907, just covering pages 2 through 6, and 16 and 17. Effectively, they're done with this one. Mm -hmm. Yep. The episode itself, pretty much the first half of the episode, just focuses basically conversation between Kaido and Big Mom. Yep, in terms of the anime, this is technically her first appearance since the end of, the, since the end of Whole Cake. Yeah, it's only been like... I think about 10 episodes since the end of Whole Cake, and this is technically her first appearance since that story wrapped up. Yeah, and it's by far, I think, her only appearance this whole arc. She doesn't show up in the next arc, but we'll get to that soon. And they basically have a conversation, Men and of course she mentions to Kaido that Luffy's coming after him, because he kind of suspects anyways. He kind of wants to come because he wants to get payback against him for destroying his smile factory. And there's a mild flashback to Dress Rosa in here. Of course, there's one of two flashbacks in here. And, yeah, they talk for a little while, and then we cut over to, basically, Mary Jo's, and we see a, a group of Navy men. We see Garp, we see Hanita, we see, we see she's probably, uh, Hina's probably a few times in the course of the series, and we see one named Gina, never seen this one before. Well, basically, design-wise, it's a ripoff of Nico Robin, like a lot of female characters seem to be. And she refers to Garp as Garp Chun, he, Hanita... Despite the fact she's younger than Garp, refers to him in the sub as Garp Kun. Yes, Garp Kun. Mm -hmm. Yep, and of course they have a. Of course, then we have a basically a flashback stock footage montage of the stuff that happened from from the end of Marine Ford up until Whole Cake. We see stuff from the only stuff we see from. It's mostly from the post war arc, where it, which from the end of it, where you have Luffy. Rayleigh and Jean Bay basically invading Navy headquarters rather than the Marine Ford just so Luffy can pay tribute to his late brother and have a pitch take of him with this tattoo on his arm with where it says 3D 2Y, where the 3D is actually crossed out. Mm -hmm. Of course, that name will later lead to the, the special, which I think is canon to the series, basically exploring an adventure Luffy had during a two year time skip. Mm hmm. Though surprisingly, Luffy is now Bo Hank, now like in last week's episode, where he features flashback, Bo Hancock is featured. This one, no, he, she's not featured at all, which is kind of interesting she's not, but we'll get to her soon. And then we get, get a little bit to return to have Odie, like basically briefly for that. And then we have a little bit of Fish, uh, Fishman Allen, basically the ending of that one. We see also a little bit of Punk Hazard, mostly the beginning of it, and then the ending of it. Basically, a quick thing of that. And then Dress Rosa, where he had them revving at Dress Rosa. And of course, Luffy's battle with Dolph Mingo, the formation of the Straw Hat Fleet. And of course, the Zoo Island, a little bit of that. Not the beginning, more like bits, pieces toward the end. And then we have a little bit of Whole Cake. And that's pretty much it for flashbacks, basically, they show in this episode. It's mostly out talking, and then the episode ends quite weirdly. With Shanks talking to the five elder stars, which I refer to them as the five elder idiots, and they, he wants to talk about a certain pirates. And in case you're wondering, does the next chapter of the manga fall up on this? Nope, it leaves off with this thing. And you know how long it's been right now? As the most recent chapter of release, it's been 37 chapters, and this has never been revisited. As for which pirate he's talking about, it could be Luffy. Luffy's a possibility. But as for who he's talking about, no idea, because Shanks, after this, in the manga, never returns. He's matter of fact, hasn't appeared for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, he also mentioned the whole thing about Nate finding out about Big Mom going to meet up with Kaido. And, yeah. It's mostly just for this episode, just covering stuff that was we'll skipped over from last week. And just progressing his plot forward. And it kind of looks like the next week would definitely be the end of this particular arc. Because next week's episode, which is episode 888, this will technically be the end. Well, 
actually no, it probably won't be because I did hear something that apparently that the one arc in the anime is the the, the start date for that thing is going to be in July. So possibly one of two things that the next chapter will be split up again or we're going to get ourselves a filler arc. Yep, a filler story. That so Either one or two other things might happen. Basically, like right at the finish of adapting the final chapter of Revere. Either we're going to have a mini, a filler arc, or we're probably going to have ourselves a adaptation of possibly some more chat, uh, more of the cover stories. I hope it's from, from the decks of the world. I guess I love that one. And I'll get to that one soon. But this was a pretty good episode. Next up, we're going to have to talk about the 944 chapter the manga, Partner. Which has... The return of Boa Hancock. Yep. Make it first appearance since this very cover story right here. Now, it has been... Thanks this one. It's been 110 chapters since this cover story right here. This is from chapter 834, which hasn't had to over the anime. And... This was technically her last appearance in the manga for quite some time. Yeah, this was the most recent appearance to date. And this only came out roughly just uh, about a couple years ago. Yeah, this book itself I actually got. This book came out basically almost two years ago. So it's been like about two years since her last physical appearance in the manga. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here she's just basically blushing at seeing a monkey wear a straw hat, wear a Luffy shirt, and she's about to feed meat. Probably because she misses Luffy. Yeah. But it's always, I, I love the fact we finally have Hancock again. And I hope we get more of her in the future. Maybe, because, well, she is got to pop up in the in the, in the One Piece film, Stampede. I'm looking forward to her showing up there. The movie itself, I'm not sure when it's going to come out here, but I know it's going to release in Japan in August. But might have to wait to maybe September or October for it to be released here. Alright, now for the chapter, it's, right now for the story itself. Starts up where last week's chapter left off, where Zoro and Sanji basically pick up Tucko. And, of course, yeah, he still refers to him as, well, Moss Head or as Moss Jur. And, of course, he refers to Sanji as Eyebrows Guru. Yep. Yeah, then we have, looks like X Drake basically wolfing out. And, basically, and then we have, like, I think this is one of the higher-ups. Basically, tell them to kill on the spot, basically, the rebels. And then we see Usopp, the female ninja, and Frankie just sitting there. And, of course, well, Zoro gives Sanji the little girl. says, two-sword style, 720-pound phoenix. And it hits, well, it's going to hit him, and then it's stopped by this samurai, which is the same one who killed the courtesan. From about so about ten chapters back, and well, Zoro starts to fight with him, and then it looks like a dinosaur shows up. Well, actually, it's Drake. Apparently, he almost swallows Sanji, but he's able to get out no problem. And then, of course, he said, and then Zoro says, "Cover me." And of course, Frank is like, "You got it." He's like, "He's like guns don't work." Yeah, because he's a freaking cyborg. Yeah. And, of course, Usopp gets in action. We see Robin looks like she's supposed to do something in Nami. They don't do anything this whole chapter. But, and we have a big brawl between Zoro and this samurai. And we cut to Luffy, the prison Luffy's held at. And apparently he's watching this brawl basically take place on TV. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's like they just, well, it's a transpire snail that actually can do this. And, well, it's quite funny, though. It's Yeah, yeah it's like watching a big brawl. And it's like live news. Well... Because they don't have regular TV, so use transparent snails. Mm -hmm. And then we see Captain Kidd and this bandaged up guy. It's feel this is actually the guy known as Killer. Yeah, with his mask on. And apparently he has gone insane. Because he's laughing like crazy. Luffy doesn't realize until a little bit later that, yeah, this is the masked guy. That's uh, This is Killer. Yep. And, of course, Captain Kidd's like, who did this before? Like, that's the mask guy? Right, so I can see, but then, of course, then we have 
Captain Kidd and Killer are being dipped in, I think this is supposed to be his water. And, of course, Luffy tries to make, put a stop to it. He's about to attack him, and, of course, his, his punch is blocked. Like, who do you think you're talking to? Missing his two things. He says, you will die here every last, every last, ba every last one of you. And Luffy says, shut it. I'm going to be the one who decides one of the, that. I'm going to be the one who decides. One that decides when and where I die. And he's like, huh? I was saying here, I sound like, huh? What's that? That noise. It's coming from outside the gate. But we just lost contact with the guard gate. And then we see that Big Mom has showed up in prison. Yes, Big Mom has showed up. And she says, Oscar -o! Wow. Such an ending to this chapter. Mm -hmm. I give this chapter a 9.5 out of 10. Fantastic chapter. Love the ending to this chapter. The fact that Big Mom has showed up. Yeah, I can tell it's Big Mom. Like, okay, how the heck did she find this place so quickly? I mean, she's living on the island for like, I don't know, about two days. And somehow she finds the prison with Luffy's guy. Yes. Maybe she's got back her memory, but I can tell by look at it. Yeah, it's Big Mom, unless, of course, it's just a hallucination. But who knows? We'll find out next week. Okay? So, that's it for this particular review. I have roughly about three more videos coming today. The review of a comic we're going to do next. I'll see you Dragon Ball Super and Baruto. Yep. See you next few. Bye.